Welcome to IDB. Apollo is a brand new Reddit client for iOS. That's iPhone and iPad from an ex-Apple employee, basically building in all the great things that are in iOS, like 3D touch on the app icon and within the app. There are a ton of new features and some great gestures. For instance, swiping to the right in different amounts can upvote or downvote a post in your general feed. Swiping left will allow you to easily comment, and a longer swipe to the left will save a post. You can tap and view a variety of different things to do, like upvoting, downvoting, jumping to a specific subreddit, replying, saving, hiding, anything you want to do related to that post. You can 3D touch on the actual image or video, whatever itself. You could save, share, whatever you would do when you 3D touch on an image, or if you do it on the name of the post, it'll 3D touch in to see the top comments. Tapping in or fully 3D touching in brings you to the post itself and it's just a really nice comment thread. Easily stacking and organizing the comments, collapsing them, making them easy to see what's going on, allowing you to easily reply to any of them. Again, more gestures that you can take advantage of. Whether you're commenting or posting, it is full markdown support, easily previewing. When you share, you can share the actual content link or the Reddit full URL. And it has the uh, Safari view controller in here, so it doesn't jump you Safari every time you view a link. When you are searching for something, you can type in a subreddit right into the top, it'll quickly do it, or you can do a full search through Reddit. You can control all the different subreddits and everything that you keep track of. You can add your favorites, which some of them will appear on when you 3D touch the app icon on your home screen. The second tab on the bottom is gonna be your inbox. So when you sign in with your account, this is your inbox. Again, more great gesture support, fully swiping the left for replying, a short one to mark is on red. Then we have your actual Reddit account. You can actually see all the stuff based on your account, all your stats that others can see as well. Then we have searching here on the fourth tab. And the last icon is going to be the settings. There are tons of settings that you can really come in here and customize your Reddit experience. Basic ones like whether or not 3D touching into a post actually marks it as red or unread. You have several things inside of appearance that are easy to customize like the size of the post on the home screen. There is even a dark mode, and what's really cool is there is an automatic way to switch. So first off, dark mode just looks really beautiful. It's not like the smart invert mode that iOS 11 takes advantage of. It really is a dark mode, and you can manually change it. You can schedule it, but automatic is the really cool one, uh, but that is reserved for the pro features. Also for pro users, the ability to switch the app icon. It's a minor thing, but it's really cool being able to customize the icon to exactly the one that you like. But again, something for the pro users. Another pro feature is going to be filters and blocks, being able to filter out certain keywords or different subreddits or different users. We have the option to, to use a passcode or touch ID or face ID on the new iPhone 10. We can customize our gestures. Again, all these are for pro users. So the really cool stuff, you're probably gonna wanna make that in-app purchase to really go in there and customize it. So since we've been talking about all the pro features, let's go ahead and take a look at what you get when you get pro. So first up, there's three different options, all the way from the cheapest to the most expensive. All get you the same thing, you're just tipping the developer more. You can submit posts, you can have multiple accounts, automatic dark mode, custom icons, touch ID and face ID protection, keyword filters, comment themes, default Reddit that you're going to load, and one of my favorite features is GIF scrubbing. Once you make the in-app purchase, it's a very celebratory, it's really cool, but I wanna show you that GIF scrubbing feature because it's probably, it might be worth it just for the price of Pro itself. So we found a GIF here just on the GIF subreddit and you can actually just scrub, scroll left and right with your thumb to move back and forth in the GIF. So you can just let it play out like normal, but you can also scrub through it. So if you want to see a specific part again, it's really cool. Let's see if we can find a better one that is a little bit easier to see what's going on. Like this little eagle here flying. Again, just scrub back and you can go back to the beginning or middle, wherever you want in the GIF. So this is a really, really cool feature that's only available in the pro version. If you don't need those multiple accounts, cool features like this, custom icons, and the ability to submit things, definitely check out the free version. It is a fantastic Reddit experience from an Apple employee who knows what Redditors and Apple users want in a Reddit client, far better than what Reddit is currently offering. Let us know what you think down below in the comments. You can pick it up from the link in the description. Go ahead, subscribe, give us a thumbs up, and until next time, it's Andrew for IDB.